Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java and JSON tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to write multiple records to a JSON file from Java. In the past, I have given you an example of how you can write a single record and also to read a single record. Now I want to do some examples with you as how you can write multiple records and then we will do an example how you can read multiple records back. So to get started with this example, first of all you have to make sure that you have the JSON package which I spoke about in other tutorials imported into your project. So I right click on my Java project and I'm going to properties and right under your Java build path, you should have an external jar, which you basically add by clicking on add external jar. And then you go to the location where your jar file is located, you bring it over. And there are so many jar files that you can download from the internet. The one that I'm using is JSON simple jar. Hi guys, in the previous tutorial, we learned how you can write multiple records to the JSON file. In this example, we will learn how you can read multiple records from a JSON file. To get started, you will right click on the source to create a new class. I would like to call this one read JSON example. Public static void main finish. First thing we do is we create a JSON parser object. So that we can read the string from the emps.json file that we created in the last tutorial and start reading data from it. We used a file writer class to write the data to it. So we will use file reader class to read the data back. So here I have my catch blocks. Now I will start to read the data using the file reader. Make sure you organize your imports. Parse exception class from JSON package. Now we will start to read the JSON file. So first of all, we will start to parse the reader object, which will allow us to get the entire data set from the emps.json into the object. From where we will transfer it to a JSON array So we will cast the object into a JSON array type. And here you can see that whatever was written in the json.emps.json file, let me show you the content again, is now available to me when I am reading this data. And that's exactly what it displays right at the bottom, the entire data set. Now I will be teaching you how you can extract individual items right from this. To do this, we will write a function and we will call that function and this function will help us extract because there are multiple records, so we want to be able to do that through this function.
If you remember looking at the JSON document at the bottom, there are multiple occurrences of employee. So what I'm basically asking this JSON object M to get me this occurrence of M, which is the first occurrence of M. So what I will do is I will run a loop in my main block, which will uh, in every iteration will pass one instance out of the JSON to this method, and then we will extract item and we'll go on with the next set of items. Okay, so let's get started. So we need to get the employee's first name, we need to get the employee's last name, and we need to get the employee's website. As you can see the names, these are the names that I'll be extracting, first name, website, and last name. So right now I've extracted the first name. Once this is done, I will now scroll back up to the try block and we will run a for each. Now this is another way for you to use a built-in iterator. So I will iterate over the emp array, which is emp list. So emp list dot for each that's a built-in for each method which allows me this is a lambda expression if you are familiar with it in Java which allows me to call the parse amp object method which I coded on line number 31 so for each requires that so here what I'm doing at any given time I will pass one instance of, and I will going to cast it to the JSON object type. So what I'm doing here is this, that I'm grabbing from AMP list into AMP one record at a time, and then using parse AMP object, I'm passing that AMP instance or AMP element from a JSON array element to a JSON object type and passing it to the AMP. So this is the casting that I'm doing. So now let's look at the result as we display. And here you can see I go over the first record set and go over the second record set. So this is how uh, you can extract multiple records from a JSON file. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial as some of you have requested me in the past uh, to write a tutorial where you can extract multiple records from a JSON file and display them. Thank you very much. Catch you in the next tutorial.